December 27th, 10 o'clock a.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about all play games that today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we started investigating again. We went on a hunt for Gordy, found out that it wasn't real, and we're now in the penultimate uh, trial here because this, this is the second to last one for this case, and also the second to last one for this series because... I'm not going to be doing the fifth case till much later for reasons that I'll go ahead and state in the description. But yeah, let's just get on with it. The penultimate case, or trial. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, apparently the prosecution is also ready. Who's the judge here, anyway? Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Uh, very well. No opening statement, so. Not so fast, Judge. I was taking a meaningful pause before speaking. Uh, right, of course. A prediction. Today's trial will end three minutes from now. Order, order. Mr. Von Karma, what is the meaning of your statement just now? Bah, must you question everything? It will be over in three minutes. We have no time to waste. I'll call my witness now. R right. I call my witness, my decisive witness to the stand. It's that mysterious boat shop owner. Witness, state your profession. I am the proprietor of the restaurant Wet Noodle at Gord Lake. And uh, I also rent boats. The night of the incident, you were in the boat rental shop, correct? Er. Uh, Yep, yep, I was. Please testify. Wait a second. We still haven't heard who this old guy is. Wait a minute. The witness hasn't stated his name yet. Because I did not ask him, Mr. Wright. Bah! I have predicted this trial will end in three minutes. Stop asking trivial questions and cooperate. Yeah, right. The witness will state his name. Uh, well, uh, not really sure, yep. What do you mean? My, uh, memory. Your Honor, the witness does not remember anything beyond the last several years. Ergo, he cannot recall his own name. Hmm. -hmm. Can't recall, you say? Yes, but the incident in question took place three days ago. He can testify. Very well. Let's hear his testimony then, shall we, witness? The night of the murder. It was night of the 24th, just after midnight, yup. I was in the restaurant where I, uh, rent boats as usual. Then I heard a bang, yep. And I looked out the window, I saw a boat just floating on the lake. And I heard another bang. Just about then, the boat comes back to shore and a man walks by my window. Hmm, very well. I'd like to begin the cross-examination. There is nothing to question in my witness's testimony. Ergo, no need for cross-examination. Besides, there are only ten seconds left before our three minutes are up. Judge, your verdict now. Uh, yes, Mr. Wright. What are you saying? Of course I'll cross-examine the witness. Hmm, very well, you may begin. 
Uh, excuse me, Mr. Von Karma? Three minutes just passed. I see. Well then, let's just take our time. You may cross-examine the witness. The night of the murder. It was Friday the 24th, just after midnight, yep. Just after midnight, you say? Yep, just around then. Are you sure? Pretty sure, yep. When I talked to you yesterday, you were rather vague about the time. I'm surprised you seem so sure about it today. I asked him, and he remembered. Isn't that right? Don't glare at me like that. I, uh, I remembered it clearly, I did, yep. You see? Continue. I was in the restaurant where I, uh, went to folks as usual. Is there anyone who can verify that? Well, I guess Polly could. That's not good enough for a court of law. Mr. Wright, exactly what's not good enough? Uh, uh, Your Honor, this Polly is a parrot. Uh, parrot. Don't be so hard on the girl, Keith boy. Keith? The prosecution concedes that we cannot prove the witness was in the shop. Witness, please continue. And I heard a bang! Yep. Now where did the bang seem to come from? From the lake, I figure. Are you certain? Uh... Uh, yep. Good. Continue. When I looked out the window, I saw a boat just floating on the lake. Was there someone in the boat? It was pretty far out there. I couldn't see it clearly. But I figured there was two men out there. Yep. But you couldn't see them clearly. Uh, yep. At the time, that is. At the time. Then I heard another bang. So you heard two gunshots in total. Uh, yep. That's what Lotta said in her testimony yesterday. Just about then, the boat comes back to shore, and a man walks by my window. By your window? Yep, by my window, right outside the window of my little shack. And could you see the man's face? Well, the fog was pretty darn sick, but he was right there in front of me. I saw him. This is a rather important detail. Please add it to your testimony. Tisk, tisk, tisk. I have a bad feeling about this. That man was dependent. He was saying, can't believe he's dead. Uh, are you are you sure? Uh oh. D Dad. Yeah, certain key. Said I can't believe he's dead as he's walking back to you. Witness. Are you sure that the person you saw was Miles Edgeworth? It was him, that Edgeworth boy. This sounds like decisive evidence indeed. I see no room for doubt. Von Karma. He lured me into cross-examining so he could set me up for a fall. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Nick. I don't like the way things are going here. Everyone in the courtroom is glaring at us. Better act quick, or this trial is going to be over. Your Honor, we proved in yesterday's court that, that it could not have been Edgeworth who fired that gun. Mr. Wright, are you referring to the fingerprints from Edgeworth's right hand found on the gun? 
and the photograph showing a man firing with his left hand. Exactly! That is easily explainable. He could have wiped his prints after he fired. You are ignoring the truth of the matter here. Everything in this witness's testimony is true. Hmm. Judge is lost in thought. What should I do? Your Honor, this witness claims that Edward said I can't believe he's dead, but his word is all we have. If he were telling a lie... Mr. Wright, in a court of law, the evidence tells all. Apparently, you have yet to realize even this basic fact. If you say his testimony is a lie, show us proof. Erk. Nick, do we have evidence? It's no good. There's nothing I can do. Uh, are you sure? To be honest, I don't know what to do anymore. Please. Can you hear me, sis? Please. We need your help. Nick needs you. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Three minutes was perhaps too high in expectation. However, 15 minutes isn't bad. This must be a new record. Enough. The witness may leave the stand. This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. Nor is there any need for more time to decide the case against the defendant. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. What? No. Mph. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth, guilty. The accused will surrender to the court immediately, to be held pending trial at to be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. The court is adjourned. Who was that just now? Huh? What? Larry! What are you doing here? Listen, you gotta listen to me. I- I was- I was there in the park the night of the murder. I- I wasn't sure about it till yesterday, but I remembered it. Remembered what? The gunshot. I heard it too. Uh, order. What is the meaning of this? The verdict has been decided. I call for adjournment. One moment, Mr. Von Karma. So you say you heard a gunshot? Yeah, I did. A gunshot. That night. I was sitting here in the audience listening to the testimony. And I realized something he said was different from what I remember. Anyhow, I just can't sit here and let you call Edgy a murderer. It's just not right. I'll testify. Let me testify. Order, order. Well, this is the first time something has happened like this in my court. I'm not sure, quite sure how to proceed. Judge, you've already given your decision. The trial is over. Nick, this is it. Larry's given us one final chance at this. She's right. If only it wasn't Larry. He could make things even worse. Mr. Edgeworth has just declared guilty, Nick. It doesn't get any worse. You're right. Okay. Your Honor, if there is another witness, it is our duty to hear him speak. Right here, right now. A waste of time. The verdict cannot be overturned. Hmm. Allow me to speak my opinion. In all court proceedings, it is our duty to prevent an inaccurate verdict. In order to make sure no mistake has been made, every witness should be heard. What is this? I withdraw my previous verdict of guilty. Mr. Von Karma, I order you to call this new witness to testify. Now! What? The court will adjourn for a five minute recess. After that, we will hear this new witness. Court is adjourned.
The judge is actually doing stuff now. December 27th, 1028 AM, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Whew, that was too close. Sorry to keep you on the edge of your seat like that, Edgeworth. Hmph, I've seen worse. Yeah, right, Edgeworth. You're sweating bullets. I just wonder what Larry plans to say in there. Larry was at the lake that night. Yes. He said he went looking for the steel samurai balloon that flew into the lake. Oh, right. And he found the balloon in the air tank that night. Yeah. Hey, Edgeworth. Huh? You say something right. Yeah, a lot of things. You seem out of it. What's wrong? It, it's nothing. Hmm? Um, Mr. Edgeworth? There's something I've been meaning to ask you. What's that? Why are your fingerprints on the murder weapon? Oh. When he fell into the lake, I went into a daze. I couldn't understand what had happened. I couldn't think straight. Then I saw the pistol lying on the floor in the boat of the boat in front of me. I picked it up without thinking. I didn't have a reason, really. I see. Right. Yeah? This might be our chance. Our chance? One comma has only ever run perfect trials. Perfect trials? Perfectly prepared witnesses, perfectly complete evidence. That's the secret to his success. This is the first time he's ever had to deal with something unexpected. He has to let someone he hasn't even talked to testify before the court. And that someone is Larry. What are you getting at? It's likely his, tes his testimony will be full of holes, right? That's right, Nick. No ten minute trial this time. we we'll milk this one for all it's worth. Hey, it was fifteen minutes. Fifteen. Everything depends on Larry now. It's not the best situation we find ourselves in. And we'll have to see how this concludes in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and just see what Larry has to say. Uh, it'll probably do a bit of damage to our case, but hopefully we can find a way to worm our way out of this. I don't even know if that's the correct phrase. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!